Greetings. This would be a continuation of the previous video with a little bit more information regarding Neptune and Saturn and their convergence of July 2025 and ultimately their conjunction early in 2026. Not only do we have a series of key periods to watch closely in the month of July for major earthquake and volcanic eruption events, but also we have a series of planetary stations in July that closely mark geolocations on the Earth for a future disturbance of great significance. We're now going to be using astrocartography which focuses the planets onto the Earth and the month of July is highly significant as mentioned not only due to the convergence of Neptune and Saturn but a series of planetary stations involving both planets as well as Mercury throughout the month. Now if we geolocate the planets to the Earth we see the IC which represents the 12 o'clock midnight position of both Neptune and Saturn focus over several areas which may see a major disturbance, specifically the Comatic Trench and if we follow the longitude up north it goes through Alaska and very close to a series of volcanoes. Now I'm concerned of a fairly significant disturbance across the Comatic Trench and this longitude which extends up north right through Fiji as well as the Alaska region, specifically the Andreoff Islands. Now the main area of focus definitely will be the Comatic Trench as we see the Neptune station takes place on the 4th of July and it's positioned just to the eastern side of the Comatic Trench which is the Pacific Plate and the Saturn station which takes place on the 13th of July we have Saturn stationing on the western side of the Comatic Trench and that's the Australian Plate so we're getting a series of planetary movements on either side of the Comatic Trench and I do feel like this represents a fairly significant earthquake event or potentially a major volcanic eruption for Rail Island. We're now pressing forward to the 23rd and 24th of July as it represents a fairly significant time frame in terms of celestial geometry. If we have a look we have Venus interacting with both lunar nodes at square aspect. That's that red triangle or T-square aspect showing on the left hand side with the chart. And on the same day we have Mars interacting with the south node. So this is an extremely powerful time frame where the Mars and Venus influence will be highly powerful. And importantly, just the day following, we get a series of trine aspects involving the planetary alignment of Saturn and Neptune, involved into Pluto and Sun into a trine aspect, as well as Uranus, Pluto and Sun as well. So the 23rd and 24th represents a fairly powerful time frame where we may get an earthquake 7.5 magnitude or greater. So something to watch throughout the month of July as we get a series of very important planetary movements and geometries indicating a potential for major events. The crosshairs of both Neptune and Saturn also merge up north if we follow the longitude line across Alaska. Areas of emphasis will be the Aleutian Islands. Now this area can receive some fairly powerful earthquakes greater than 8 magnitude as well as volcanic eruptions. There are a series of volcanoes in this general location. I'm concerned specifically of the Tanaga Island region as there are two volcanoes on this island. The Takawanga volcano as well as the Tanaga volcano as they both are featured with the stations of both Neptune on the 4th and Saturn on the 13th. We have the Saturn station in between both volcanoes and the Neptune station on the eastern side. So we get a very similar symmetry to the Rail Island volcano down south and the Tanaga volcanoes on Tanaga Island could also be at risk for an eruption in the year ahead. And my final area to watch and consider for a strong event in 2025 into 2026 will be the Fiji region. Now the stations of both Neptune and Saturn are taking place just to the eastern side of Fiji and the Fiji Islands and the retrogrades will be moving both planets back from right to left and the Neptune station is actually right over Fiji while the Saturn station is on the western side of Fiji and then they converge again to their conjunction in February. So this would be the key area to watch in terms of a potential major earthquake around the Fiji region while the other two areas would be a potential earthquake around the Comatic Trench or volcanic eruptions for Rail Island stretching up towards the Aleutian Islands. These will be the main areas to watch, but I'm concerned of a strong quake for the Fiji region in 2025 into 2026 as well. Now the first half of the video was focusing on the station retrograde point of both Neptune and Saturn. We're now going to be looking at the opposite side of the retro and that is the station direct point of both planets. Neptune stations in December and we see its geolocation on the Earth again very near the Fiji Islands. If we have a look at the chart on the left hand side we have a very strong and powerful interaction again of Venus. Venus is having a square aspect into both nodes at the time of the station of Neptune. So this is an extremely important time frame. Note that Mars is having a very strong interaction and square aspect with Saturn. So this is a very interesting time frame and we note the geolocation on the longitude of Neptune focus over another volcano across the Aleutian Islands and that is the Semisopachanoi volcano 
on semi Sopochinoy Island. Excuse the pronunciation. So this is another volcano to watch. We're now focusing our attention down south and this time around the New Zealand region and we get an alarming site where we get the Neptune station longitude line marking the Hikarangi margin and the station of Saturn also marking a danger point on the globe and that is the Lake Wairarapa region which is the epicenter of the magnitude 8.2 earthquake that struck in 1855 so we get some very dangerous symmetry here over the New Zealand region and specifically the North Island New Zealand so I'm concerned about both stations not only the station retrograde in July but also upon exit of the retrogrades of both planets also mark some danger areas on the globe. We're going to have a closer look at the New Zealand region, specifically the North Island and the Saturn station which takes place late November of 2025. If we have a look at the chart aspect, it's extremely powerful. Note that Taramaranui, Wanganui are in the crosshairs as well as Lake Wairarapa for the station of Saturn. But importantly, Mars is having a very strong T-square aspect with both lunar nodes. And we have a grand trine aspect taking place in behind, adding an extra punch between Venus, Jupiter and Saturn. So this is an extremely powerful time frame. And both stations of Neptune and Saturn upon their retrogrades are even more powerful than they are in July. So I'm extremely concerned of what's coming. And this will be an event in 2026 or 2027 for the New Zealand mainland, quite likely. Now if we have a look back at the previous Neptune station which took place in December of 2024 and notice geolocation on the Earth very close to the White Island volcano. Note that there are fairly strong chart aspects also associated and assisting this planetary station of Neptune and it's important to note that the White Island volcano has become activated in 2025 post the station of Neptune. Now looking ahead, the key time frame that I'm expecting a possible event would be late November of 2025 and this is interestingly on the same day and time frame of the Saturn station. If we note that there is a planetary alignment between Venus and Uranus which is in opposition. The important aspect is that Venus and Uranus at opposition, the same planetary alignment, Venus and Uranus this time were in their conjunction at the same time of the Neptune station on July 4. So this is quite powerful symmetry and we get a reverse symmetry which may indicate a reflection and a kicking off point for this event to come. Now I went back in time with the software to find the previous time Neptune had an interaction and movement across the Comatic Islands and note that in 1943, specifically in the month of January, we have a perfect station of Neptune right over the Royal Island volcano. We're now moving to 1957, also in the month of January, and this time a station of Jupiter just west of the volcano and the Comatic Trench. Importantly, the Royal Island volcano erupted in 1964. We're now looking at the conjunction of Neptune and Saturn. This conjunction will take place officially on the 21st of February 2026. Notice geolocation on the Earth and just focusing around the New Zealand region, note that both planets will be making their conjunction on the Hikarangi margin. If we move up north, it is to the west of the Comatic Trench and also the Royal Island Volcano and pretty much to the eastern side of the Fiji region. Now if we look at the opposite side of the Neptune-Saturn conjunction, looking at the MC this time, it's focused over Europe, specifically France and also Spain, which is quite interesting and not an area that you will associate with earthquakes. In summary, I do feel that the upcoming stations in the month of July represent a strong event, potentially greater than 7.5 magnitude, in the regions around the Comatic Islands, stretching in towards the Fiji region, or potentially up north towards the Alaska Aleutian Islands. These will be the main areas of focus. I definitely will be concerned, and even the upcoming stations in the month of November and December are highly significant as well. So something to keep a note of. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.